All right, what's going on, everybody? Listen, I have been bombarded with this Star Atlas situation. This is a video from Blue Drake 42. People have asked me to watch it. So I'm just going to throw on the camera and watch it. This isn't from a live stream. I'm just using my live stream overlay. If you guys like the video, leave a like on you guys know what to do. Subscribe for more. Um, the title of this video is this will be the biggest game ever created or the biggest scam introducing star Atlas. So <laughs> I mean, when I see biggest game ever created, you know, Chances are it's going to be a scam, but let, let's find out. Buddy, it is a Blue Drake, and today we're going to be talking about something that for some reason not very many people seem to be talking about. I've and never heard of this. From my point of view, this so. is either going to be the most amazing game ever created, <laughs> or it's going to Typical, listen, I, I love my boy Blue. <laughs> I mean, every, every game can't be the greatest game ever created, Blue. Come on. Come on, bro going to be the biggest scam ever conceived. Okay. Welcome to Star Atlas. Okay, what now, is this? What is Star Atlas? Thank you, Blue Drake. Okay, is this actual, like, I can't say gameplay, but is this like the game? Or is he using some other footage? From the looks of it and how it has been explained. It, lo it looks like, um, like... Uh, Avatar mixed with like Star Citizen. So far, this is a competitor to Star Citizen, but it is there you fuck. <laughs> there you fucking go. Okay, pull back. So, competitor to Star Citizen, <laughs> or the biggest scam? Yeah, sure. Star All right. Star Citizen, but it is a competitor to Star Citizen with an economy entirely based on a crypto. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, all right. Currency, a very specific kind uh, of cryptocurrency called Solana. No. It's a massively multiplayer game set in the distant future built using Unreal Engine 5 and a Nanite. So Wait. Unreal Engine 5, competitor to Star Citizen, built on crypto. <laughs> this is Earth 3. On paper, this seems like it would be the most amazing game I have ever played, except it isn't out yet. Well, no shit. So today, we're going to be diving into what is this game, is it worth being excited about, and will it be a scam? 100%. Welcome to Star Atlas. Oh, this is going to be good. Now. Okay. Star Atlas aims to be one of the largest, if not the largest game ever created. Similar to things like Star Citizen, or even in some troubling ways like Earth 2, oh, this there is, it is going to be a monumental project. And if you want to check out all the details, you can check out their website, which I have to say is the best website I have ever seen. Come on, Blue. Uh, is this the website itself? And if you want to check out the website for yourself, links are down below. We're definitely looking at the fucking website after this. No doubt about it. It's pretty incredible. Now, this is a game that is allegedly being created using Unreal Engine 5. There's Unreal no Engine way. Unreal Engine 5 recently has shown off some incredible technology, including Nanite, which allows you to do things of unprecedented scale and also unprecedented detail. Okay. Players for Star Atlas can trade and they can obtain non-fungible tokens. NFTs. Oh god. Yes, this is going to be an NFT based economy. In no. This game. The entire universe is going to be based off of it, which means owning assets in the game will have real world value. Oh now, no. Blue Blue Drake's turning into are you realty out here? Sheesh. All built on the Solana <laughs> blockchain. If you've never heard of that before, it's another cryptocurrency that you can okay. also get yourself. And the okay. funny thing is, is before you can even create an account or choose a faction for this game, okay. you actually have to connect a cryptocurrency wallet. Which means your entire existence in this game is going to be tied to real world value. Now, this is where... This shit 
is starting to plague the gaming industry. Oh. We get into the fishy parts of this game. Oh, we're not there yet? All right, let's let hey, let's dive in. Don't get me wrong. I hope that this is going to be the coolest best game ever made. Right? But there are some things about this that give me the willies. Sure. First off, there is no playable build of this game. Right. But there So there it's Earth 2 at this point. There is already a full-blown marketplace yep. where you can trade and buy items <laughs> as well as funding the game through other special offers where you can obtain a quote piece Dude. of history oh of different things own a piece of history oh sheesh where have i heard that before for different rewards of funding the game okay and creating account now for a game that is getting this much hype yeah but currently still not only doesn't have a playable version of the game but as far as i could do research on doesn't even have significant details on what the game is even going to be like when it is released so okay so here's the question now like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get a blue drake because blue drake is a homie but how are you <laughs> maybe i am gonna how are you gonna sit there and say that on paper this is going to be the best game ever if it comes true but you don't know a single thing about the game blue come on man obviously we know it's going to be a massively multiplayer metaverse of course of, of course hundreds, metaverse not possibly thousands of players of course roaming around an open world sure but is it going to be something more like Star Citizen? Is it going to be a top-down game? Is it going to be something like EVE Online? Well, so why would you say it's a competitor to Star Citizen? <sighs> Blue. From everywhere that I've looked, even talking to the community itself in their public Discord, uh. no one seems to have much of an idea. <laughs> this, this is Earth 2 all over again. <laughs> Come on. But everyone is already starting to buy up ships of course. and build a sizable asset <laughs> library of in-game items for a game that as of yet doesn't just not exist, but we don't know what it's going to look like Man. when it does. So let me know, is this interesting to you? No. Because this has definitely been getting a lot of hype but I haven't seen too many creators talking about it. I've seen a couple of creators talking about it similarly to how creators were talking about Earth 2 before Earth 2 started getting a lot of public attention. Yeah, be... <laughs> so if this is the trailer, they just rendered a trailer? Like, th this shows nothing. God, I, I really hope that this trend dies very, very soon where people are promoting it they're talking about the economy oh and my most god importantly they're talking about how you can potentially make money playing this game. of course and that is definitely something that's a little bit troubling the idea of building yeah. games with the allure of having people want to play the game not because it's a good game but because it's profitable thank you that is a little bit sketch thank Although, you i'm not entirely against that at all and i do think one day there will be a game that does all of the things that i think everyone thinks is possible if what okay hold on did that sentence hold on profitable that is a little bit i got sketch. i gotta listen to that again Although, i'm not entirely against that at all and i do think one day there will be a game that does all of the things that i think everyone thinks is possible okay that doesn't make any sense there will be a game like star citizen eventually in our lifetime doubt it like when I and when I say like Star Citizen, I mean like, oh, you know, a large scale multiples like Star Citizen isn't even what Star Citizen is, if that makes sense. You know, it, you can play Star Citizen right now. Earth 2, maybe not Earth 2, but the metaverse and a game like that will eventually exist in our lifetimes. Definitely not. 
There's no fucking way a huge metaverse the likes of a Ready Player One or if you take Star Citizen and turn it into literally an open universe style game. I just don't see the tech getting there. And if it does get there where, yeah, you can walk around on any fucking planet, you're going to be doing nothing. It's not like you're going to be dropping in. There's going to be a bunch of missions. Like when people think of the potential that Star Citizen has, that game will exist eventually. I won't be alive to see it. Chances are your kids, if you're watching this video, might be alive, maybe. And if they are, they're probably going to be in their 50s. You know, like we're still so far out from having that sort of tech. And like I said, being able to walk around on planets is one thing. Don't care. When you take like Earth 2, where they're claiming that you're going to be able to do anything like Ready Player One or like Dream World, where you can go anywhere and do anything, but the game is so bad that you want to do nothing else but Alt F4, there's no fucking point. So like, it's so weird. If there was a game like Star Citizen that had items that were backed up by a real blockchain-based economy, that is theoretically entirely possible. <laughs> theoretically entirely possible is one of the most uh, sketchy statements that you could say about a video game. It's theoretically technically possible. Buy an NFT. And if that were to happen, I don't know. That could be a huge deal. There's it would be a huge deal. But are these the companies that are going to do it? There's already a lot of people trading items on player run black markets. Yeah, they're idiots. That don't have a cryptocurrency or blockchain backed economy. When you look at World of Warcraft, even when you look at Escape from Tarkov or other games, there are absolutely people buying and selling in-game items for real world money. Yeah, that's com that's a totally different thing. That's that's been around forever. And when it comes to Tarkov, I'm pretty sure that's against terms of service. But when you talk about like gold sellers in World of Warcraft, I mean, that's a that's a hop, skip and a jump away from, you know, owning a digital picture and being able to land on a fucking asteroid. You know, you know what I mean? And while it is entirely possible for that to happen for a game like this, as of yet, no, we haven't seen it. Hundred percent. So, I think this is cool. <clears throat> I think this is and and you know you know the the problem with this is I, I keep pausing the video, but you know what? Fuck it. You clicked on to hear what I have to say. Um, the problem with this is you always have the people who come in and they're like, well, yeah, but a big fry. If we don't support a company and don't support the future then how are we going to ever get to that point? And you look at companies like Facebook who have come out and said they're working on a metaverse, Epic Games, they're doing it on their fucking dime, right? They've created mega corporations and businesses to fund that sort of stuff. When you have companies out here saying, hey, you want you want to you want to you want to be in the metaverse and be in the ground for, floor and own a piece of history, give us all your money? That's when I have a fucking problem with it because the tech is so foreign and because it, it, it's such a far cry away and they've done nothing to prove that they can do it. We're going to look at the website after. I want to see who's making it. This is awesome in theory, but it's definitely a little bit troubling the way it's being marketed. <laughs> it's ambitious and as fuck. As of yet, even though they have put obviously a lot of effort into making one of the best, sickest, cleanest. If you say website, Blue Drake, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Marketing campaigns okay. that I have really seen for many games. <sighs> I'll tell you what, it's way easier to build a marketing campaign to collect and raise funds than it is to build a fucking metaverse. There is nothing here yet than <laughs> absolutely amazing trailers and the no. best website of all time. No way. Who would have thought, huh? 
Now, the funny thing is, is that obviously someone made these things. Someone put together all of these assets. Yep. Someone created all of these characters, all of these ships. So I would say if the same team that built all of this amazing stuff that is in this trailer is actually on the game development team for the game itself, well, I think we all know this is totally possible. This game can totally... What? Blue? Are you fucking kidding me? Team that built all of this amazing stuff that is in this trailer is actually on the game development team for the game itself? Well, I think we all know this is totally possible. That is the dumbest fuck. Come on, man. I hate it because your friend, but Jesus Christ, that's stupid. This game because these so you're telling me that the be, the people who made the cinematics for World of Warcraft could go on and make a metaverse. They don't relate in the slightest. Yeah, this looks high quality. This trailer here looks high quality. That doesn't mean jack shit. Like what? Oh man. Can totally I'm not gonna lie. I'm super conflicted because if this was anybody else, I'd be absolutely roasting the fuck out of you. That's exist, but will it? It so, won't. That's it from me. Let me know what Brutal, you think down man. below. Brutal. I was really confused when I looked up this game and didn't really see anybody else talking about it. I. <laughs> that's about to change. Definitely think that this is something that Big Fry would love to look into. I that's think this me. is definitely something. Sit <laughs> yeah, dude, that's me. And best believe we're looking into it. Alpha and lots of other creators would love to keep brutal, an eye on dude. Because it is hitting on so many strings in the current industry. Where yeah, it's really on the fence as to whether this is actually going to be a viable product blue drake you f you you can hear it in his voice he knows it's not just tell the truth industry where it's really on the fence as to whether this is actually going to be a viable product or <laughs> he can't even if say this it this is going to end up being something much <clears throat> Less. <laughs> okay, so here's the sitch. All right, Blue Drake, I respect you. You're a game dev. You're not gonna shit on other devs. <laughs> All right, we're gonna dive in, and I'm gonna fucking say everything that I know you want to say. But this is this is brutal, man. You have a platform. <laughs> so you know we'll it's gonna be to fucking see. bullshit. Will this be the best game ever made? No, definitely and not. A complete paradigm shift for the industry, as so many other games have claimed. Or is this going to be something else? I don't you, know. Yeah, you I do. do think, I think we can all agree that it is only a matter of time. Yes, it I agree. It is only a matter of time before yes. something like Star Citizen mm -hmm. with cryptocurrency connections yep. happens. I agree. It, it's going to happen. It is. I think that's the thing. This idea, this concept in itself is not a scam. This this is possible. It is entirely... See, where... where I had a problem with Earth 2 and where I have a problem with Star Citizen and where I have a problem with Star Atlas now is in the tech that we have, this is physically impossible. If, and now, granted, I haven't looked into Star Atlas. If, if it is what I think it is, and we're going to look into it right after this video, Earth 2, those devs, as talented as they are, they know that they are never going to be able to make the matrix or ready player one so when i say it's a scam i'm talking about the idea of intentionally deceiving people by building it up it would be it's, it's like fire festival to me you say you're gonna make it you say you're gonna put it out there and then it doesn't ever happen right fire festival is a scam but just because, you know, Ja Rule and whatever that white dude was from New York said that they could make it. And those guys, they could put on Fire Festival. They absolutely could if they wanted to. But they didn't. And they sold people that dream. And then it never happened. It's Star Atlas. It's the same fucking thing.
really possible with how the technology is currently moving and what <clears throat> all of these different game development studios are capable of. So I am gonna keep watching these because I feel like one day there will be something like this. Never in our lifetime. It will not be a scam. Yep. But will it be Star Atlas? All right. Ne never in our lifetime. Okay, we got some work to do. So I have a couple of links here. I'm gonna pull up the website and then I'm gonna pull up their Twitter because it looks like they just tweeted something about a roadmap, which means we're about to really get into it. So here's the website. We're going to accept the cookies. Here's the trailer. Star Atlas, click to enter. This is a really fancy website. A world vast beyond imagining. Okay. Let's scroll. Immerse yourself in the spectacular living metaverse and experience the future. Great. What do we got here? Space technology of tomorrow. So, um, fly your state-of-the-art spaceship equipped with 27th century technology to wherever your heart desires. So, they are building a metaverse, like, whole-ass universe. Okay, explore. What is this? Deep space mining site. Explorer drone. Okay, back. Keep going. Oh, this is, this is, you know what? This is going to hook way more than just the Earth 2 crypto market. This is going to hook the Star Citizen crowd in. This is going to appeal to Elite Dangerous. Oh, man. Okay, what faction will you join? Join one of three. You guys can't see this. Hold up one second here. Let's throw me uh, over here. So it says here, what faction will you join? Join one of the three main in-game factions. So we have the Oost... Okay, let's go back over here. Ooster Sector. We're dancing around the screen. I don't even care. Uh, the Ooster Sector, which is a collective of sentient androids. Again, concept art. Great. The Mud Territory. Governed by humankind. Concept art again. Uh, and the Oni region, a consortium of alien species. Again, concept art. Do we keep scrolling? There we go. Oh, there's a lot. Live and prosper among the stars. Okay, keep scrolling. A universe so you can build your fortune in your home in space. Okay. Sure. Keep going through the website. Keep scrolling. Expand into space and be rewarded for your effort. So all of these things are just general blanket statements. In terms of actual gameplay mechanics, they're so vague that they're, they it just erases all accountability, right? Expand into space and re be rewarded for your efforts. Explore and conquer, they say. So, oh, man, it's going to let people think like, oh, dude. Oh, I, I get to take over, like, planets. We can, like, film, form guilds and take over planets. Let's keep going. <laughs> okay, we got an explore thing over here. Oh. Okay, what's this? The Pierce C9 Battleship. This space juggernaut inspires both fear and admiration to protect your hard-earned resources and expand influence on the metaverse frontier. This is the VZUS Opod in ex exploration mode. So they're yeah, they're really playing up the Star Citizen shit too, the explorers and stuff like that. I will say their concept art looks really cool. Like, honestly, man, it's the same thing as Earth 2. If this game exists, wow. I would play it every single day. Right? Earth 2 is the same for me. If Earth 2 exists today, I'd play the shit out of it. But it doesn't. It's a buggy, right? This is just concept art, dude. Uh, where will you take your spaceship first? Keep scrolling. <clears throat> Be part of the intergalactic prosperity. <clears throat> so we got the mining town, resource-rich areas for hub and economic activity. 
scroll through the marketplace. Here we go. This is probably going to be the first feature that's like fully functional, right? Buy and sell your resources and services on the Star Atlas marketplace, both in and outside of the game. Oh, it's so vague, right? Oh, man, does that mean they're going to have a mobile app? Oh, dude, I'll be able to, like, trade my space dust to other people on the marketplace. All right, let's explore what this is. This is the Mining Town Dockyard. Again, great concept art. Looks looks amazing. Scrolling through. Scroll, equip your ship for deep space travel. And by the way, chat, I, I do see this play now thing right here. I'm going to click that later. So we got deep space travel. The Calico ship manufacturer. So they're talking about ships and the lore. You got crew quarters. Catch a breath in the relaxing ambience of the crew quarters with your favorite rebirth. Meta poster on the wall. The space comes alive with colors and electronic beat breathed into it. Okay. Whatever the fuck that means. Uh, okay. So this is the ships. Oh, dude, this is going to be... This is going to... Oh, I can see why this is so successful, man. A fool and his money are easily parted. Live the freedom of the metaverse. Player character customization. Choose between different signature styles for your character. They don't show anything off. Maybe they do. Keep scrolling. Decide the future and direction of Star Atlas. Through holding the Star Atlas governance token Polis, you will have a say in the fate of the metaverse and the rules governing it. Interesting. So is Polis an in-game currency that doesn't exist yet? Do I need to do I need to mine ether and then convert it to essence and then get my polis? Is that how it works? Okay, now this, this is a work in progress character model. This doesn't look like concept art to me. That actually looks like a character model. Interesting. This is the first, I would say, like, tangible piece of development outside of the website, concept art, and trailers, right? But it's a character model, like, you know. It doesn't show any customization. Okay, so a grand strategy game of space exploration, territorial conquest, political domination, and more. So they're talking about grand strategy. So is that going to be like, what is that game, Europa? Where it's like large scale, like real time strategy? Or is it going to be more like Star Citizen? Let's, let's hit play now. Now we're here. And let's go to play.staratlas. Here we go. <laughs> Here we fucking go, dude. Okay, so let's see the overview. <clears throat> Actually, so this says, gain your competitive edge, formulate your strategy, make your claims, and overcome your opponents. So let's go to the overview and see what we got right now. A world vast beyond imagining. Oh, and wouldn't you know it? The marketplace is available now. Who would have thought, huh? We're going to look into that in a little bit. We have an inventory. Um, items in your wallet are in-game inventory. They're owned by you and only you. You may choose to utilize your assets in pursuit of a career, in space, or simply as a trader. So, yeah, so it looks like you can own ships and shit. The Pierce X4, we saw that. Opal Jet. <laughs> and then we have leaderboards. So this this is Earth 2 but like Deep Space Nine, Earth 2. Earth 2 and Star Citizen bangs, Star Atlas. That's what it is. Because you have the leaderboard, rank players, organizations, and factions based on their accumulated wealth. It's exactly the same design as Earth 2. 100%. Holy fuck. Faction selection is available now. It's permanent. Faction locations determine your strategic advantages based on the crafting potential of nearby raw materials. Which is exactly what Earth 2 offers when you can get like wood, oil, coal on your properties that doesn't exist yet. Hey, it's the same thing here, only there's factions. So the Oni 
has advantages in stealth and scanning distance. Mud has advantages in firepower. Wow. What kind of game is it? Ustar has advantages in maneuvering and hull strength. What kind of game is it? Player orgs coming soon. Can't even make usernames yet, but you can buy shit. Got it. Ship configuration. Ship missions. Gathering stations. All of this is coming soon. 3D Star Atlas. The Star Atlas is a map of all known and explorable regions of space. It will also pinpoint all of your personal organization and faction asset locations. In the browser minigame, the Star Atlas is used to explore and find land you wish to claim or sell. Ding, ding, ding. There it is. The browser-based Star Atlas will use... So it's... So what's the game? The adventure awaits. Okay. Let's go to home. Please connect your wallet to select view your faction. So you have to, like Blue Drake said, you have to connect a crypto wallet to this game. I want to pull up their Twitter. So here's their Twitter. They're following 420 people, 163,000 followers. Here's the roadmap, guys. Uh, living document with timelines, instant updates from our dev team. So the target release date is internal target based on current known development requirements. Development spelled wrong. Delays are anticipated. No shit, huh? Confirmed release date is a public date after a release candidate passes all QA phases. All teams are aligned. So, oh, Project Mushroom is confidential. Partial vertical slice playable. Got it. Uh, Project Apple Core, confidential. So we don't even know what that's going to be. But the target release date for Mushroom, target release date is July 15th, 2023. So 2023 is going to be the partial vertical slice playable. Project Apple Core refined major module releases 2025. So right now, what's looking like the next thing in the list are ship missions tier zero. Let's open this up. Enlist ships you own to your faction's fleet. Keep your ship supplied with fuel, food, ammo, and toolkits to earn faction rewards. The first MVP gamified loop using NFTs at playstaratlas.com. Looks like the targeted release date for this is November 18th, 2021. So this is when you'll be able to buy ships or enlist ships. Ship commissions on remote expeditions. Listen, you guys are going to have to let me know what you think of all of this. For me, this feels like another Earth 2 with more content thrown up front so that it looks like progress. So that it looks like they have something concrete. Until I see, and again... It's the same with Earth 2. Until I see an actual build of the game running with, say, even 50 people, and, and you can jump into a ship, fly around, you know what I mean? I want to see some tangible proof. So until that time comes, that's kind of where I'm at. It looks super fucking shady. Maybe in the next video, you guys are going to have to let me know, do I connect my crypto wallet to this game to see what it is we're looking for. We can deep dive the platform. It's a platform, bruv. We can do it. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys like the video, leave a like on it. For now, just stay away from shit like this if you guys can help it because there, there's more and more coming out. There's more and more that are creating flashy websites and huge trailers to try and get your attention to sketchy space. And there's a lot of people in this space right now that are good at making money, good at raising funds, but don't know the first thing about making a good video game. My name is Big Fry. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.